Welcome to another training video from HImpact.com. My name is Travis Holt, and today I'm going to show you how to use some conditional formatting features within Excel 2013. This video will focus on utilizing the top and bottom rules to format a column. The file name we are using is Sample Conditional Formatting Column Top Bottom Percent Start. Here we have a spreadsheet from Grade A Staffing LLC. This is their weekly payroll report. From the leftmost column to the right, we have the ID, first name, last name, hourly pay rate, overtime rate, hours worked, normal pay, overtime pay, and total pay. We also have an input value labeled full-time hours for use in certain formulas. There is also a total row used to calculate the total of the weekly pay for all employees. We have been tasked with applying formatting to the weekly payroll report. Excel 2013 comes with conditional formatting options. We will create and apply top and bottom rules to format the top percent and bottom percent within the total pay column. With the Home tab selected, let's highlight the total pay column that will be formatted. Click cell I7. Click and drag to I23. And release the mouse. From the Home tab, within the Styles group, select the Conditional Formatting drop-down. Hover over Top Bottom Rules. Click Top 10%. The Top 10% dialog box displays. Let's change the Top Percentage default from 10% to 30%. Double click 10. Type 30. Let's change the default style to a green color. Select the Format drop-down. Select Green Field with Dark Green Text. Click OK. Now let's apply conditional formatting using bottom percent options. Within the Styles group, select the Conditional Formatting drop-down. Hover over Top Bottom Rules. Click Bottom 10%. The Bottom 10% dialog box displays. Let's change the bottom percentage default from 10 to 30 percent. Double click 10. Type 30. Finally, leave the default style light red fill with dark red text. Click OK. Select outside the total pay column to see the formatting clearly. There you go. The conditional formatting worked as expected. For the total pay column, the top 30% now displays in green and the bottom 30% displays in red. That's all of it. In summary today, we were able to use conditional formatting top and bottom rules within Excel 2013 to format the top and bottom percent of the total pay column. We chose 30% instead of the default 10% for our percentages. Again, my name is Travis Holt. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this training tutorial from himpact.com.